The first thing we're going to do in these co-localization exercises is to explain something very common at the start of a co-localization project, which is data wrangling. So it's creating a subset of the data that you are actually going to analyze. Uh, to illustrate this, we're going to use a particular data set that is in the data folder. Uh, specifically, uh, the data set is going to be this one, the one called wild type plus DNA image 30. This is a .lsm file that is uh, came off um, a confocal microscope in my core facility and is one of the examples of the data that is in the collaboration paper that I had with Jenny Ting Lab uh, at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. So what I'm going to show you is what this data looks like and how I reduce it to uh, the kind of data that we will analyze in the rest of this co-localization uh, set of exercises. So we can just drag this to Fiji and it will open. This is a hyperstack with four channels and 16 Z planes. So these are the Z planes in one of the channels. This is another channel, another one, and another one. And so uh, there's a few things that I usually open when I have something like this to be able to navigate the data more appropriately. One is the brightness and contrast uh, menu, which I can open with Control Shift C. And the other is the channels tool, which I open with a, a shortcut Control Shift Z, as in zebra. So this allows me to more easily navigate this data. And so I might want to go to the middle and auto adjust the contrast in the different channels maybe change this channel instead of red, maybe make that one magenta, and so on and so forth, and maybe look at them together. Okay, so um, in this case, uh, uh, the way we are going to do the analysis in these exercises is by looking at a single plane of the Z stack in only two channels, the two channels for which we are interested in the co-localization, which are channel two, uh, that is the sting channel, uh, it's the sting protein, and channel three, which is the NLRC3 protein. So how do we make that subset from this data? To make that subset, we are going to use the duplicate command, which is in image uh, duplicate or control shift D. If you don't know where this is, you can also find commands by typing them here, if you remember what they're called. And so that's going to be this one. Or if you're somewhere else in Fiji, if you press the letter L, it will bring up um, this search uh, bar. So um, whatever you do, uh, however you find the commands, the command that you need to bring up is image duplicate, which is what we're going to do right now. And we are going to duplicate only channels two and three for slice six. So here you have it. And if you want to change uh, the color of anything here, you can do so by selecting the particular channel that you're interested in and you know adjusting the color accordingly. I did that before in the instructions, that step is, is later, but uh, you can switch the order, that doesn't matter. Um, so that's how you make a subset of data in Fiji.